Welcome everybody to another driver's addiction video. My name is Jesus and it's been a while since I uploaded my last video but I'm finally back and with my return I have a list of four cars that I want to talk to you guys about because these four cars are considered ugly even though they have such great potential and they're wonderful cars. The first car that I want to talk to you guys about it's a Camaro especially that fourth generation Camaro. This car is considered ugly because of this catfish looking front end. Now does that mean that it doesn't have any potential? No absolutely not. It's such a great car. The fourth generation Camaro was produced from 1993 to 2002. It was offered in several trim levels those being the base RS, Z28 and the SS. But the SS Super Sport being the best trim level for this car. In particular the 2002 model because that year marked the pinnacle of horsepower for the 4th generation Camaro. Uh, the Camaro SS featured the 5.7 liter LS1 V8 engine available with a 6 speed manual transmission delivering an impressive 310 horsepower with, with 340 pound feet of torque. This, this engine provided thrilling acceleration and performance making the 2002 Camaro SS the most powerful variant of its generation. The SS trim also included sports tuned suspension and upgraded brakes. Now even with all these features many people have ignored this generation due to its catfish appearance leaving it aside for better model years of the Camaro. But the people who haven't left this wonderful car aside have made over a thousand horsepower and they're having a lot of fun with them so be smart. Now the next car I want to talk to you guys about it's the Mitsubishi Eclipse and you're like Jesus but that car is actually really popular and it's becoming so much so rare now because people want them but they're hard to find. I'm not talking about the first generation Eclipse unfortunately. I'm talking about the fourth generation Eclipse which was produced from 2006 to 2012 and the trim levels available for this car were the GS which it was a four cylinder the Eclipse GT and the Eclipse Spider. With the GT trim obviously being the most sporty of all, the Eclipse GT had a 3.8 liter V6 engine pushing 265 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. And it was available with a 6 speed manual transmission or a 5 speed automatic transmission with Sportronic manual shift mode. Now I know it's not even close to comparison with the first gen and second gen Eclipse that came with a 4G63 engine but it's, it's it has this decent potential it's a decent car and people who have owned these cars have been surprised and they've actually kept it for a long time because they're they're reliable and they're also then they're actually really fun cars to drive so I know it looks like an egg and that's the reason why people leave it aside. Not only that, you got the first and second generation Eclipse like overshadowing this car. So, But if you happen to come across one and you have the budget for it, I'll say pick it up. You're going to have fun with it. The next car I want to talk about is the Dodge Charger, especially the sixth generation. The sixth generation Charger um, has so much potential. It was overlooked because of the chubby appearance. It got compared to the classic 70s body style that Toretto drove in Fast and Furious. But also because it went from a two door to being a four door. And for only coming with an automatic transmission option. Does this mean that the 6th gen charger had no potential and it was such a bad car? Obviously not. The 6th gen charger, the trim labels available for the charger, for this gen charger was a SE and the SXT that included a 3.5 liter V6 engine making 250 horsepower while higher trims like the RT and the SRT8 came with a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine that put 340 horsepower through 2008. In 2009 this went up slightly to 368 horsepower but a 6.1 liter v8 engine was put into the charger srt8 and it put out 425 horsepower bringing the best potential for the charger now if we happen to come across one that it's clean that hasn't been crashed that hasn't been on, on street takeovers pick it up because with with electric vehicles becoming so popular every v8 engine it's gonna go up in price now the last car i want to talk about is one of my favorites and i am i've been thinking about owning one it's the porsche 996 Porsche 996 was produced from 1997 till 2006 and it's the least favorite 911 Porsche because of the headlights. Yeah I know the 911 has those circular classic style headlights that every Porsche fan loves because it's, it's the classic look you know everybody was used to that but you know what I, I've actually the more I look at it the more I like it especially because yeah I like I like the Cayman. Yeah, and I know it's not the 911 is 
it's not a Cayman. I really like the body style. I, I really like the the, the tail lights. I really like the, the the headlights. And I feel like the 996 headlights. Now the the trim levels available for this car, they're many. It's been the Carrera, Carrera 4, Carrera 4S, and I think those 4S. I think that it's because they're all-wheel drive. Not 100% sure, but I think that's it. Um, all of those came packed with a 3.4 liter engine that produced 300 horsepower. Now, for the performance variants, they have the 996 Turbo, the GT3, the GT3 RS 2.7, the GT3 RS 3.6, and the highest performance of all trim levels is the GT2 that came in with a twin turbo 3.6 liter engine that produces 477 horsepower. It also came in in rear wheel drive and came with more aggressive styling. Now, yes, the ver the trim level that I got in love with was a uh, turbo and up. <laughs> and even though it's not on my budget right now, I know that someday it's gonna become a reality and I'm gonna own one of these beauties. Now, this is it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please give it a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna be uploading more videos often. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, I am more active on Instagram and TikTok. I upload reels every day. So make sure you follow me on those two platforms and hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.